At the Cincinnati Zoo, one animal has a special job. He helps his furry friends. Meet Blakely, the resident nursery dog. Blakely's job here at the zoo is to be a nanny to the babies. He sits with them, he socializes them. He's a nurturer. He teaches them animal behavior, what's appropriate behavior for them. Wanna go for a walk? You ready? Let's go. This morning, Blakely's caretaker, Don Strasser, takes him to greet his latest baby, a Tolkien named Dale. Dale, he's from the Himalayans of China, up in the upper mountains. It's a goat antelope type. You ready? Good morning, big boy. Good morning, big boy. There's your buddy. Blakely's been the surrogate parent for the zoo's abandoned offspring for nearly five years. The babies don't learn the proper social skills because they don't have other animals to play off of and to learn from. In captivity and in the wild, many first-time animal mothers reject their newborns. Motherhood in animals comes with a learning curve. Sometimes first-time mothers are anxious and agitated, and they might abandon their offspring. The Australian Shepherd brought the right qualities to the table to look after and train the baby animals. I got him from a rescue when he was seven months old. He's got a great disposition. He likes to be around people. He likes to be around other animals. So far, the caring pup has helped raise an array of animals. Foxes, a wallaby, a warthog, and even a serval. Another of his surrogate children was a young ocelot named Santos. Blakely took this dwarf leopard under his care when the kitten was only three days old. Ocelot babies rely highly upon their mother for survival and training. Without Santos' real mom in the picture, Blakely took on the mentoring role. He chased, wrestled, and played with the kitten. These activities are vital to a young animal's development and socialization. Big time with babies is when they first see another animal, they don't know what to do and they get scared and either run from it or coward or they'll charge it. So by him interacting, playing, he won't be so intimidated or scared. After 12 weeks of schooling, Santos was well-adjusted and returned to the cat habitat. 